Good morning. Good morning, beautiful people. <laughs> so, we did something yesterday that took a, about all day. Yeah, I'm exhausted. I'm sore, I'm tired. I'm tired too. But I woke up next to you. <laughs> and what else did we wake up to? Just show them, just show them already. <laughs> we woke up to this beautiful ceiling. So yesterday we put the ceiling up in the majority of our bus. Mm -hmm. We went with the primered shiplap that you can get at Home Depot is where we got ours. Mm -hmm. We got it in variances. Most of them were 12 feet, some of them were eight feet. As well as we wired in eight LED puck lights yesterday. Now we don't have them to a switch yet. We don't have everything finished up, but that's where you guys come in. We wanted to really get a feel for how we were going to do it, what we were going to do, how it was going to look, how it was going to go. And really like the vlogging part adds more stress on a very stressful yeah. situation. Especially because it was just us two doing it. So we needed all of our hands yeah. to really do the entire thing. So we didn't vlog much at all really yesterday. Um, so we wanted to take this opportunity to show you today how we can finish up the rest of our bus with the ceiling, how we do with the wiring, how we are making the wood look a little bit more distressed and um, show you the entire finished piece. Yeah, so there's enough so that you guys can get a full idea of how we did it. If it's something that you'd be interested in doing, we did do a little trick here and a little trick there to mm -hmm. kind of make it our own and do our thing. Mm -hmm. So come with us today, help us finish out the majority of our ceiling. I don't think we have enough parts to finish it all out. No, but We're a little short, a couple pieces, but you'll get the full idea yeah. anyway of what it's going to look like. And it already feels brighter in here and a little bit bigger and cozy. And it's beautiful. It's home like me. Let's get started. <laughs> We started with this white primed shiplap. As you can see, it's got the little groove. It worked really well so far for us. So since we're kind of uh, doing some rustic things and kind of some older stuff, we wanted to just get the white primed. It was a little bit cheaper than, than unprimed. And we also wanted to distress it a little bit. So I'm going to use a flap disc on a grinder and an orbital sander to kind of whitewash it, distress it a little bit. So we have like six pieces to do. I guess we should get started. As you can see, that put some really cool lines in it, put some really cool grooves in it, made it look distressed a little. Now I'll try and sand some of it down just to kind of make it smooth it out a little bit. That's one, five to go. As you can see, there's really no rhyme or reason or pattern or anything. I just kind of let the grinder do what it wants, sand it out a little bit, and we go with it. Now, let's put some up. So we will be starting in the bathroom, in the shower. I guess first we gotta measure. Then we mark. And we cut. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, so I mocked it up. We're fitting pretty good. And as you can see, we have this white stuff on the ceiling that we're actually using as a vapor barrier. Meaning the steel to the wood is going to be a temperature change. And so we are using railroad paper is what it's called, but it's got these little holes, little pockets. It's kind of a little bit of insulation. I don't really know, but we just wanted something between the steel and the wood. So we have found this to work perfect for us. Plus we don't lose much height. I'm 6'3". It doesn't help me at all. So let's put it up. just in case that one touches. All right, so now we're about to put the board up on the ceiling and this is where it takes both of us because one of us has to hold it while the other one secures it in place. So as you can see, this one is up. The only problem is we gotta make sure we're running pretty decent because I have to catch this one on the backside. So hopefully we're good. All right, so I just fabbed up a little piece that I'm gonna shove just above the driver's seat that we're gonna put our light switch in. So I'm gonna have to do some wiring up and over so we can wire our switch and all of our Nine lights will be on a dimmer. All right, so now we are working on the wiring side of things. So as you can see, we have our power switch here, our light switch, our dimmer switch that we have wired all the way up and across. And we have it going all the way down to our fuse box. Next, Dustin is wiring wires from our power switch. It's gonna go to a light that we're gonna have here and then we'll wire all of this together. So all of our switches, or all of our wires. And switches. And switches. And lights and fuses and all of the things are all wired together. And like the Griswolds, we hope to and turn all of our lights on. So I made this box or this board to hold our switch. Now I'm going to run our wires into the back and then we will screw that to the face of here. So as we come in the house, we'll be able to turn our lights on. All right, switch is all wired up. Now it's time to put the boards back up. This doesn't really matter. We got wires going every which way but loose. That's right. It was a little cold last night. Oops. I woke up cold this morning. I thought, man, it would be nice to have a wood burning stove. <laughs> Day before on that rainy day or whatever, I yeah. tried the thing up and I 
freaking gross to just have it in there. And then I was like, man, it sure would be nice to have a diesel heater. Yeah. Someday. And then I was like. You don't have any source of heat in there? No, nah, uh, body. So now as it's starting to get dark, we're working with just a flashlight. Now that it's starting to get dark, we're working on our lights. <laughs> yes. Um, so we are going to hook up our last puck light. Is yep. that what you call it? A yep. puck light? Yeah. Um, and that way we can put that board up here. And that should be the last of our wiring. Yeah. Right? Yeah, for any time soon. Okay, so I've also got to remember how this thing goes up. So it goes up like that. So I'm going to actually have you hold it. Hold it on a silver freaking platter, baby. I can do that. Okay, now let's go all the way to there. Always add extra. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you think you add extra, add another six inches. All right, so this is for you guys. The moment of truth. Drum roll, please. <laughs> we have lights. Look at the lights. <laughs> I'm done for the day. Yeah. So as you can see, we still have a little bit left One, to do. One, two, three, four, five pieces. Um, as well as the long uh, 12 footer, yep. is that right? But our work here is done for Yeah, tonight. and we're gonna end it here just because we got to show you how we were distressing it, how we were putting it up, how we wired the lights and the lighting that we have. That way, if you wanna do something like this or if you're trying to get your ceiling done, this is an option that is a possibility for you. Absolutely. Um, yeah, we like it a lot so far. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're not completely done and we haven't, you know, done too much with it. But, but we can at least see what it's going to look like because the majority of it's done and it is beautiful. And yeah. These lights are awesome. Yeah, super bright. So, with, did you show them they're on a dimmer switch too? Mm -mm. Yeah, so <laughs> go ahead. So we can dim them low. Have some mood lighting. Woo! Look at that. So, with that, we that's have, all we got. That's all we got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. Share some love in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. We drop them every Sunday. And with that, love y'all. Get out. Go. Oh, I got a steal. Oh, he's got my balls. Oh, oh. shoot. <laughs> That didn't go, Alvaro. Did it? Don't do that again. That's so funny. <laughs> so funny. <laughs>